Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Windows 10 computer to Windows 11 using the Windows 11 installation assistant. So using this method, you don't need to have any Windows DVD or any other installation media to upgrade your computer. So you just download the software online, install it and run it, and it will do the upgrade for you. Just make sure that you back up your files just in case something goes wrong during the process. So what you need to do is first go to this website here, which I'll put in the description. And then once you get there, you look for the Windows install. 11 installation assistant click on download now it's a quick download then just open the file from wherever you download it or from your browser say yes to the prompt okay we'll do a little device check here and if your uh, computer is not compatible with windows 11 it won't let you continue this one says it is so we're going to say accept and install and then what it's going to do is going to do another much bigger download. So this will take some time and we will be back after this downloads for the next part. Okay, so next comes the installation process. So this takes a lot longer than the download does. So we will be pausing the video on this section as well and be right back. Okay, so now that the installation is complete, you could either have it restart on its own in 30 minutes if you walked away or you could just click on restart now which is what we're going to do okay then it will do some updates and you'll have to wait a little longer and your computer may restart during this process okay so now we have our new windows 11 login screen here same users we had configured, put in the same password we were using before. So now it's going to go through its initial setup, when it, what it does when you uh, reinstall a new version of Windows or log in with a new user. So it's got to log in with the new profile and get everything configured. Okay, so now we're finally at our new Windows 11 desktop, and everything's looking good, so it was a success. So once again, just go to that website, download the utility, um, install it, run it, and wait probably 30, 45 minutes, and then you should be up and running with Windows 11. So hopefully that helps, and you can uh, get yourself upgraded. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>